to, yeah, if you find any little beads, my, I work my mala so hard. All the mala makers in the world, in the world, as if I know all the mala makers. In the world. But all over the world, there are mala makers who I, I come in contact, and, and I'm notorious for breaking their malas. Like the hikers. I really, yeah, I, I work them really hard, and this is one that I actually made, and it's lasted for, but anyway. I thought you had thrown that, and I might need it or something. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you do like it. That's not for me to say. Right. Okay, so we are moving into a very important thing in our life, which is the transmigration of that identity crisis. Because we all face identity crisis at different cycles in our life. When we turn 18 and our first cycle of life energy completes, it's like, whoa, hello, What's, what, what, what happens now? And then there's that, that that's cluster that happens at 33 when three cycles of intelligence have completed and you're, and you're coming up to 35 which is uh, uh, five cycles of consciousness and then 36, two full life cycles and so much about who we are and what we are. It constantly changes and evolves and it's so beautiful that you're doing this so that you can get a practice that helps you to evolve consciously to be who we need to be to serve the humanity. Like it or not, folks, you're in this room, you're a teacher. It's a fact. Not even a question. You're a teacher. Because you are doing this for yourself and it's contained in you, in your radiance. Anybody you interface with has the opportunity to benefit from what you've been what what you've done. So you're doing great, you know, and that's what we have to do. And through our cycles, we have this identity crisis. The first identity crisis comes at the age of seven. All right? The age of seven. You think about uh, child development. At age seven, what happens? The child becomes their own self, soul, and separate from mom and dad. Well, what does that mean? Hopefully, there's enough circle of security that, that they can move on to figure out how am I going to navigate, which takes until about the 11th year. Now I got a way to navigate and move through my life up to 18 when that first life cycle is complete. And by then you're close to three cycles of consciousness. And, and so as we progress and evolve through a journey of, of a lifetime, that identical identity that we use because we don't want to be honest first with ourselves, you know, why is it so hard to say, God, this really sucks, and have it be heard? You know? I don't like what's happening here. If you don't say it, you can't deal with it. If you don't accept the reality of what is, if it sucks, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks! <laughs> you can't make it not suck by not looking at it. <laughs> It still sucks. Yeah. And if I feel less than because of this sucky life, it's like, oh, I'm less than because this sucks. I'm not good. It sucks because I'm no good. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Boom. You need a good cosmic shock, you know? Not because you're not good enough. It sucks because it sucks. Because every sequence has a consequence. One little change in sequence, which is what we're doing tonight. One little change in sequence brings about a whole new consequence. Doesn't take much. See, scientists, he's, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, he's like, you know? There's a concept, it's called Ung Sung. This is an ancient, ancient yogic understanding. The sound is Ung Sung. And what it means, Ung, is that all pervading, active, creative force. And sung means every single fiber, molecule, spinning, proton, neutron, electron, all the way down to the quark. And the helpers and the reflectors and all of that stuff at a very, very sub, sub, subatomic level. All the way down, that's all the divine play. That's all the creative force. <laughs> And when we realize that, when we begin to own that, a lot of this stuff about not being able to say, this really sucks, can go away because 
it's not it's not sucky because of me. It's not sucky because of you. It just sucks. <coughs> so it's, it's working out, man. Right? The concept of unsung is to get to that place to where we realize who we really, really are. You were before you got the lease on your car. Ek on car means ek one, v one. In fact, if it's ek on creative force car creation, you gotta have your creation, soul and separate, thirty trillion molecular gods all spinning and talking and creating, generating, organizing, delivering. If you don't like the word God, right? It's all happening, and they all know each other. They live next door. We work today, right? This shoulder knows this shoulder. When this guy, when this guy goes out, this guy goes, hey, that sucks! <laughs> <laughs> All right? If I deny it as the observer, I go into pain. All right? It's all connected. And we are gifted this awareness to know that we are connected to everything. And in this process, the heart creates the pace. It is the pace of each of our individual vibratory frequencies. You know, on the periodic chart, right, there's these uh, specific gravity for everything. Well, each of us has a specific gravity. And that's dependent upon what place do I put myself in, what pace do I experience my life, and what is my purposeful projection inside of that place and pace? And if I'm not true to who I am, which is what we all are constantly working on, is refining that. If I'm not true to that, and I'm, I'm this guy. If, if the guy you see now, if you see me down in, in town, <clears throat> hair down, knocking back a few brewskis, smoking a cigarette, womanizing, cheating on my wife, you know, being something that I'm not, what would that, you know, what is that? That's an over-exaggerated explanation and example of creating an identical identity. You could be just who you are. I promise. I promise. You could just be who you are. And if they don't like it, screw them. It's not your problem. NMP, not my problem. Right? It's not my problem because of OPI, other people's opinions. Right? Other people's opinions. Throwing me off. Ang Sung means I am connected to everything. All of my neurosis is mine. All of my greatness is mine. All of my projection is mine. All of my desires are mine. Everything is mine. It's all me, and I exist as a reflection of thee, whatever thee is. You don't have to believe anything. You just feel it. How do you feel in that layout? Pretty relaxed, huh? A lot, of, a lot of things can happen. A lot of stuff can happen. Now, when you get, when you get it's time to turn the lease in, right? Got to turn that BMW in, baby. You know, it's, it's looking good. It's getting a little old. You know, my, my BMW is like 63 years old, man. <laughs> you know, it's a classic now. <laughs> uh, uh, but I still got to turn the lease in. And when it's time to turn the lease in and we travel up to that mountaintop and make the decision to come or go, the worst thing that can happen is the insecurity of what to do. Hmm. If I don't relate to the fact that every heartbeat is gifted to me, every heartbeat is gifted to you, and not from anybody that you know, <laughs> right? If I'm not connected to that, then, then it's a very scary place to be. Because your family can take you to the hospital and to hospice and everything, and they're with you all the way until you go into the coffin or the burner or the ground or whatever's going to happen to that car when they junk your lease. <laughs> so 
what we want to do is have a clarity of who we are as a spiritual being. Not a mental being, not an emotional being, not a commotional being, as a devotional spiritual being. You must define that in your own experience. No one can tell you what that means. Yet it's a truth that you are a spiritual being. And in order to be in that place, we have an opportunity to go to that heartbeat right now and look into that heart lotus. Is, anybody, is there anyone who doesn't know that there's a heart chakra or the concept of it? Because it's important that you at least have that. If you put your hand right here and you can feel your heartbeat, then that's all you need to know. This heartbeat is a heart, it's a lotus. It's got 12 petals. If you look at the thing, it's got 12 sounds in Sanskrit. It goes on and on. Yeah, we, we, built, we spun these huge things around this stuff. And the bottom line is like, how's it feel? <laughs> right? Am I, am, I, am I freaking out because my preferential view of how that thing should be has got my heart going, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> which then throws me completely out of balance. And I can't be, and, and then because it's out of balance, and that ain't changing just because of my purpose, I get angry. And then when I get angry, love can't cut in. Right? When I get fearful, love can't get out. So what do we want to do? We want to go to that lotus of the heart. And tonight we have an opportunity to just go to that space and then to actually imagine or see the color of your heart lotus. It's really quite pleasing, or I found it to be quite pleasing. The spiritual teacher isn't a person. The spiritual teacher is that development and that study as an individual. Student first, student last. We are gifted a life inside of which we get to learn and learn and learn and learn. That Guru Dei, that unseen inspiration that wells up inside of us, that spiritual teacher that's unique for each and every one of you, that is why you are a teacher. Because that inner voice, that clarity beyond this mind that dwells in this mind will keep us on our path. It's called our dharma. We each have a dharma. Not just my grandson. His name is Dharma. You know, yeah. Dharma is individual to each and every one of us. And it's through our experience and our perseverance of our practice and dropping and letting go and letting go, and letting go, without fear, that will take us into this next thing, choosing what is. That's where we're headed. We're headed to, to make a conscious choice. Even if it's a conscious choice to, to cop to the fact that I don't know. And it's okay. It's okay that I don't know. I don't know what I want to be. I'm 63 years old. I don't know what I want to be. So what? That's okay. Choose to be present and let it unfold. And that's what happens in the heart center. Okay, this is very simple. Ideally, you sit on the floor. However, you're very welcome to sit in a chair because this is a, an extended period of time that you are going to sit. You can put your legs out. You can sit on your heels. You can switch back and forth as you please. The only thing I ask you to do is just follow the direction. All right. So, very simple. We, we, we start just like this. Left hand on the center of the chest at the heart center and the right hand over that. That's right in the very middle. Now ladies, if you're well endowed with breast material, you may have to press down to get a little close, but try to, try to get close to creating the connection of the hand to the sternum, all right? 
Now just sit straight, sit still, and now please close your eyes. Allow your elbows to drop down. Just be in peace. Now hold your hands at your heart center as if you're holding something sacred. Whatever that means to you. Feel the connection, the right palm to the back of the left and the left palm to the chest. Gracefully relaxing in the posture as if you are holding something very, very sacred. Now, hold the body where it is and open your eyes, please. Now, you're going to do something that's called boar's breath. <laughs> I know you've never heard of it. That's okay. Have you ever seen a boar? You know how they, their, their lips are kind of pulled back? Yeah, like this. Can you see that? You know, a boar. Anybody doesn't know what a boar is? Think Havelina if you're from the Southwest. This. Now, the breath is like this. <sighs> yep, pull the lips up and down. Your own pace. <laughs> Once you get the breath, close your eyes. <laughs> Keep pulling the lips up. Move your belly. Fall into a rhythm. Allow the breath to be as deep as you can comfortably and stay with it. The process of rebirthing requires that the creative force of the Kundalini move from chakra to chakra to chakra to clear the sub psyche and wash out the unconscious beyond the subconscious. So just stay loose. Keep the lips pulled back, that is critical. You'll create a pressure in your, in your cheeks up high. That's it, you got it right there. Good. Remember the life force travels on the breath. This particular posture stimulates all of the meridians in the body. And the pranic force, the life force is distributing. Do your best. See that the lips are tight. Tight and open. that sacred thing at your heart, pull your lips back, create the pressure and breathe.
Open your mouth like a boar. Don't stop. Press your eyes. Press your eyes. You got to make it tonight. It isn't going to happen tomorrow. This doesn't happen every day. You got to get rid of that crisis. Got to get rid of that identity crisis. For crisis sake. Let's get rid of the crisis. Pull the breath. Push the breath. Control it. Come on. Pull and push. It's your breath. Clear the decks. Come on, folks. Come on. This sets the stage for the next 30 minutes. Energetically. Pull it. Pull them back. Open mouth. Open mouth. Concentrate under your hands at the heart center. Concentrate now under your hands where that sacred thing is, holding that. Imagine a ring. Create a ring of energy directly under the hands at the heart center. Build a ring there and make yourself so beautiful and so innocent. No judgment, no preference. Just hold that space. Use your imagination if you need to. Imagine what it's like to feel innocent and then feel innocent. So beautiful. Turn yourself now into a child. See yourself as a young child and sit in the ring at your heart center. Whatever thought comes to you, answer it with one thing. I'm beautiful. I'm innocent. I'm innocent and I'm beautiful. Become that child in the ring at your heart and answer any doubt, any thought with I am beautiful, I am innocent. I am innocent, I am beautiful. 
Transform yourself hypnotically at the heart center under your very hands. Fully protected, totally secure. You are beautiful, innocent. That's what this mantra means. Concentrate at your heart, please. And see yourself as a child in that ring of safety and security. And transmigrate, transmigrate your entire being, your body, into your first day of childhood. Beautiful, innocent. And sit under your heart. Use your total self, transmigrate, sit in your heart as a little, beautiful, innocent you. Hypnotically transfer yourself as a child of the Divine Mother, right under your hand, hold it and hold it dearly. A child of the Divine Mother, the Source. Transfer yourself to that child at the heart. Put all of your attention, imagination, intention, and energy to create yourself as a child right there sitting under your heart. No questions asked. I am innocent. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am innocent. I am a child of God. Sit in your own heart chakra with the power of your own person. Nobody can hypnotize you but you. Open the door. If the, if the tears come, let them flow. Don't worry. Remember, no fear. No shame. You're innocent and beautiful. I'm a child of God. Hypnotically have the right to sit in my own heart center, my heart chakra. I'm in ecstasy. I'm in ecstasy. Transform yourself hypnotically to a state of anon, the bliss. The bliss of being you, that perfect child. Get into a hypnotic bliss. I'm not curious, I'm not poking anything. I am in bliss, I am. Be in your heart chakra with your own power, your own person. I am a child of God, child of the Divine Mother, and I am in ecstasy as myself. Transform yourself hypnotically as the majestic ruler of your heart, the king or the queen of your heart, 
as that little innocent beautiful child expand 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 into your majesty in the limitless pace of your heart but you're still beautiful innocent a child of the divine your majesty is your great self and being you're the ruler of the heart center you are mighty there is no crisis you are sovereign majestic everything obeys you you rule Combine the two, the child and the majesty. Combine it together. Pachai Pacha. I am the divine majesty, beautiful and innocent. The perfect you. Dwelling in your heart, Chakra. At your command, all crisis is solved. You're the ruler. They melt before me. At my command, all crisis dissolves. They melt before me. I'm beautiful. I'm innocent. I am majestic. I've received the throne of my own being and I rule my heart chakra as an innocent child ruler. Try to keep your head up. Hypnotic self turns into deeper self. Hypnotically hypnotize your own self under your own command, under your own will. You can go deeper and deeper and deeper in excellence. In excellence. See yourself in excellence without any question or crisis. You rule the heart center, the chakra, the self. Because you rule the heart, you can rule any heart with your love. source, God the Father, God the Father, Hara, Mukande, you are the liberator. Mentally, pick up the sound of the mantra. Begin to mentally draw the sound, the music, the frequency into your heart center. <laughs> Mukande, the God of liberty, liberation, Be 
be the majestic ruler. Your own will in your heart. When the crisis comes, when the mind applies itself, simply reply, I am innocent, I am beautiful, I am majestic. continually hold that sacred identity with the hands at the heart. Keep going back to that. No crisis. Keep it dear to your heart. of the heart chakra. Create the bliss of originality, innocence and beauty.
Let everything else go. Let the sound penetrate the open heart chakra and fill you with the liberation, the God of the heart. Drop anything that is not that pure, essential, blissful, innocent you. Nothing else exists in your heart chakra. It is yours. Own it with your will. Be the ruler, the royalty. Now inhale through the nose really deep and now hold the breath. Hold the breath. Don't let it go. Hold this precious breath in, the beautiful child in you. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now let it go. <coughs> Now fill your air, lungs with air and light. Fill your sac, your body sac, your body glove with light and delight. Inhale, 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 inhale. Hold and experience and create a mood of lightness and being. <coughs> Let your whole body sac, the body glove, fill with light and delight. Hold it. And now as you gracefully let this breath go, Feel yourself vibrating, emanating from the heart center, pure light into every cell of your being. And now continue to inhale deep and hold that breath as long as is comfortable. And let that light build. Let that light build. When you have to exhale, let it go. Pull the belly back. And then once again, fill the body glove with the essence of lightness, delight, and light. Only you can do it. It's your right and privilege. Please be on purpose. Last little bit. Fill your whole body glove, every pore, every cell, with light and delight. Remember as that innocent, beautiful child how delightful life was. Please be
be as steady as you can, almost complete. Sharpen your focus at your heart center, please. Inhale deep. Exhale deep. Inhale deep. Exhale deep. Inhale deep. Exhale deep. Now raise your hands above your head. Relax your breath and shake your hands vigorously. Vigorously. Good, 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 good. Shake, 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 shake. Shake. The best thing you can do for yourself now is shake. 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 Relax, relax, relax. There's no discomfort. Please come lying on your back. Lying on the back. Please bring your attention back to the heart center, the arms at the sides, the palms up. And bring your attention back to the center of the chest, to the heart center, and look for a lotus flower right where the child sat, the lotus of your heart center. Let it blossom. And just look and see what color it is. No judgment, innocent, beautiful. Open the imagination and the intuition and feel your heart center and feel that it's blossomed into this thousand petaled lotus. And it is a flower, it is a lotus of light. Every molecule within that lotus is vibrating and glowing. So that shimmering thousand petal lotus at the heart center, look and see what color did she give you? What did great mother give you? the hue of your heart, the human, the mind in the heart. Try to see it. Now you have to sleep on that thought. The thought of the thousand petal lotus shimmering in the heart center and at the same time let the body completely go. You can learn how to sleep on a thought, how to dream on a thought. If you could do that, you can manifest a thought. You can experience a thought and you can excel. So bring that shimmering thousand petal lotus as you drop your body and experience that unique color, the hue of you as a human being manifest in that shimmering thousand petal lotus and keep your focus, keep drawing your mind back to that single thought. Take yourself into a coma. It's a science. It opens up all of the ways, all of the path of the divine. Sleep on a thought. 
of your divinity manifesting in your heart center. It's your gift. the body, stay with the thought, bring the thought to the heart center. No tension. If crisis hits you, don't feel tense because all, that's all crisis can do is make you feel tense. Let everything go. See that shimmering lotus. Feel it in their heart center. doubt. Lull it to sleep. Put it to sleep. And let that heart chakra be filled with the lotus. Oh, 
Sing the lullaby to your heart. When the, when the crisis arises, when the tension comes up, when the thought attacks, the doubt comes, the preference comes. Rhythmically. Sing it a lullaby. lullaby, fly your mind, you have to use your mind. You have to talk to yourself. I'll be happy and crisis will be put to sleep. You'll know what victory is when you apply yourself at the heart chakra as it shimmers in unique color. Now meditate on the feeling of this rhythmic lullaby and let it soak into you. Let it soak into you. Let it soak into you. Release all crisis and just be you.
sitting up with your eyes closed. And hum along with this lullaby tune with the eyes closed, please. You could use la la's or anything you want, but create the frequency of sound in your body to this lullaby movement. This fight, this Mahabharata between ego and self, is so glorious when self wins. And we are who we are. Once the self starts winning, we become much happier. There's no nobility more than self. There's no reality more than self. There's no God more than self. If God could have created anything better than you, she definitely would have done it. God could only create you. From that child of innocence and beauty, through time, space, to be who you are now. If you're beautiful, that's what God did. If you're crappy, if you're neurotic, if you're rotten, you're bad, you're this, you're that, doesn't make any difference. That's what the divine did. She made it her problem, not yours. So now please, like a flower, 
gives off fragrance. Give yourself a chance. Trust yourself. Love yourself. Be yourself. Can you repeat that? Trust yourself. Love yourself. And be yourself. Okay, say it again. Trust yourself. One more time. Trust yourself. Love yourself. Now raise your right hand with your eyes closed, please. And repeat after me. I trust myself. I trust myself. I love myself. I love myself. I am myself. I am myself. Now put your other hand in your heart. Now be really good in this. This is your oath to yourself. I trust myself. I trust myself. I love myself. I love myself. I am myself. I am myself. I think you can be more sincere. Do it again. I trust myself. I trust myself. I love myself. I love myself. I am myself. I am myself. All right, I believe. Put your hands in prayer, folks. May I be blessed in my genuineness and acceptance of my unity, integrity, divinity, and ecstasy, which is the gift of this life and to all of the parameters in which my God has made me to move. In each move, may I be compassionate, kind, realistic, giving, and out of love, may I serve the decency with kindness, with purity of heart, so I can become useful to myself. Oh, myself, help myself to be myself. May I be blessed in my genuineness and acceptance of unity, integrity, and divinity, the ecstasy of the gift of this life and to all of that which my God has made me to be. May I be compassionate, kind, and serve decency with kindness. Oh, myself, help myself to be myself. Inhale for a long self now. So Big question, isn't it?